Hey guys, and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Hey guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Okay, <laughs> I hope you all are well, doing good, and staying safe. Okay, and if I leave in this video, like I was almost done, and then I said, let me just get up and see if the video is recording, I realized that there was no recording. Reason? I have no idea. Anyways, we move. Mm -hmm. So, it's just going to be like a chit chat with relaxing of the movie. So, by now, I know that maybe a lot of persons, a lot of you guys, have watched that Blood Sisters movie. Overall, the movie is okay. Cast as did themselves, they did so well. Dresses and all, everything fits the road. It's a good recommendation. The movie is okay, so it's something that you can watch. However, I have some reservations or comments or my opinion and then questions for you guys as well. So, without so much ado, let's just jump right into the video. <sighs> okay, so the essence of this conversation was bath from i had a discussion with a colleague of mine recently and it's like what do i think about you know physical abuse in marriage or generally what do i think about a, a male beating a female okay so we have that discussion and somehow it got related to the movie right so it was like oh what do i think about this part of the movie do i think it's this that because he had a conversation with some ladies and they're like okay no this this and that <laughs> okay so and if you've not watched it i'm just going to give a brief summary summary of the movie is there are two friends like sisters nancy and inidima so inidima is the bride that is trying to get inidima is the bride that is trying to get married but the person he wanted to get married to that's um Deemi. like is is an abusive man you know like physical abuse bitter and a lot of that and he had done that to a couple of you know, women in the past before this lady and then in Idima's family that's the father and mother we're trying to marry her off because these guys are wealthy and you know they are if they if she doesn't marry the guy they'll be in debt and or they will you know suffer a lot of losses so they were unhappy when she tried to raise voice to her mother that she doesn't want to go ahead with the marriage. Anyways, you know, the whole movie really started from when Nancy eventually killed the husband with a gun, trying to save the life of her friend because it was literally strangling the bride because she said she was not interested anymore. And you know, because it was abusive, he wanted to kill her. He wanted to even wound both of them, but so that's where my issue really is okay so before then like i said earlier the movie is okay i watched it it wasn't a waste of time but if you are the type that don't like maybe like horror so if you are the type that don't like you know horror movies like or maybe when movies related to blood you don't like to see the picture you might want to avoid the beginning part maybe you skip it i was watching my husband so i could not fast forward it normally i'll fast forward the movie if the movie is scaring me i'm going to fast forward it to the end i'm going to see okay this is what happened this person died this person not died okay that's all right and then i'll not start watching the movie because i already know what's going to happen yes 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 that's me if you're like that jump drop your comments in the comments section i can't be i can't be stressed you can't come and increase my anxiety level okay so yeah that's the kind of person i am but i couldn't do that do it that day so what i did was i just plugged in my airport when they were you know playing all those all those soundtrack and then when they were showing that part that maybe they're trying to kill the guy i just you know i can't talking about the cast though there was one particular guy that was the, like the um serial killer that was supposed to go and kill the husband sent by um the husband's brother i don't get what kind of killer is that i know that they try to you know inculcate hollywood you know kind of scenario picture and you know scenes into this movie but that part was not it for me i mean in hollywood movies this you some people that the person that will literally kill you will even be beside you like you won't even know but the, i feel like there was an explanation for that so i went through some youtube comments and i saw somebody commented about that there was a place maybe i skipped that where you know they were saying they said that the person I had to go and take down the life of a just band is like a local, like a roadside killer. They're saying that the person is like amateur. That. So they are trying to say that the brother, Femi, that's only a for lying, that the brother cannot do anything right in his life, that they always assist him to do things, make decisions. So how would you be able to handle a company? Like even to the extent of even you know the person that I hired to keep, take down somebody's life, he didn't even do that correctly. So that's what they are trying to depict in like that scenario. Because I mean, who does that? You want to keep somebody and in the Nigerian wedding where everybody's looking all glammed, happy, you know, with and everything. 
and you are there. You, are, you, don't, you, don't, you didn't even wear native. He was wearing completely odd outfit and you know, frowning his face, like everything. It's, like, it was so obvious. This guy is here to cause trouble. He's here to, you know, cause more harm. That part, let's say, that explains that part, right? Um, another thing I had, that part of the mother and the son kissing mouth to mouth, was that, like, what was that for me? Really? I was like, I even thought that maybe there was going to be like another episode from that particular scene, like maybe both of them are having, I don't know, I really don't know, but I find it really cringy, like it was just off, it was really weird for me, I mean because of the Nigeria Africa society, we don't do that, okay, that's like a taboo, I don't know, but it was just weird, I didn't like that part, it was like, it was like, we did like, ew, what's that? <laughs> Anyways, I felt like maybe they were trying to inculcate the Hollywood, you know, scene or whatever into this thing. But then again, I'm not watching Hollywood movie. I'm watching the Hollywood movie, right? On Netflix, well, whatever. They decided to do that, but I don't like that part to be honest. Although I met someone recently and she's like, oh, she does that to my dad. I'm like, okay. Okay, that's alright. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Another off part, which I'm sure maybe you've probably seen around, I don't know, it's the nude scenes. By nude, I mean like all out, you guys. There was a bathroom scene, you know, that was in that movie where all the ladies were in. It was just really off. Those those two parts, the mother and wife and, and son kissing out to mouth, and then the bathroom scene. It was to me it was unnecessary. Like, what was that for? Like really, that's aside the aside the um, the part where Nancy was even beating, and that one they kind of showed the side of her, but it wasn't so obvious. Even that part, but <laughs> compared to the main one where those ladies were in the bathroom, like they were fighting, you know, normal thing that happens in prisons. They were fighting and they were showing their oh my god, like I can't. They were just see. If you watch that movie, I know you know what I'm talking about. Again, I feel like they were trying to copy Nollywood scenes, which to me was totally unnecessary. Like, why? Why? Like, why? No, that was a no no for me, to be very honest. Like, that scene was not needed. It didn't add anything to the movie. You only depicted that they were fighting, and they can do that while wearing clothes. Okay, so that's that part for me. Other than that, I think all other parts, it's okay. Other than the part that I can't watch that part that was bloody, I can't. Mm -hmm. But the part that I now feel like people are not really talking about, funny enough, I felt like they were going to catch them at the end of the day. I love the plot twist to some extent of, you know, they didn't get, I mean, it wasn't like they didn't get caught literally, but I love the part of breaking in self-defense and to, despite that they were trying to cover, cover the real story up. Um, there was still somebody that was, you know, really interested. I love that part. Now, that part of self-defense stopped, in my opinion. Where Nancy took the gun and you know shot at um, Dayami because he was trying to strangle a friend. That's self defense. I mean, you can't watch your friend die, okay? But to be honest, in my innocent mind, all I was expecting when the friend of the husband came knocking was like she should just be like, oh, this happened, this happened. Yes, I know that if she had done that, they would have rot in jail. No cap, okay? But that was what I was expecting, like an innocent person would do, I don't know, but obviously Nancy's mind in that movie, I think it's Sarah she was called, was very very strong. Anyways, my point is, the part that I feel like there's no self-defense, I mean how can a whole human being carry sea cutlass or whatever it's called and you chopped up in a gun? Like they literally, like after the gunshots, obviously the guy was dead, they were, they, you know, I get it that they wanted to to fix the body into a sack so that they can dispose it off. But if I, I felt like the, all the process of disposing, why they were see, I was already feeling like this this is already getting messy. From when they try to dispose it and take it to the back of the car, in all those places, I mean, there are cameras everywhere. What were you expecting? I mean, the bride. I was even uh, expecting that the security would recognize the bride's face. But let's say whatever they got past that, the mistake has happened already, right? But I know you are trying to. Um, to avoid getting caught or to avoid getting into trouble but they would have taken the body of the husband's husband to the husband's room and then because there was already a scene of somebody actually tried to kill him with a gun already if they do the proper investigation they will already get just like it happened right so i just i felt that maybe that was what they would have done one part of my mind was like oh how would they do that without getting caught but there was a way they did the cutting chopping off and then taking outside the you know building to the back of the car it was just 
I don't know that part was really enough for me I feel like for a normal human being to be able to you know the, it's like that part is intentional you took something and started cutting a whole human being like you into pieces just because you are trying to avoid getting caught or because you want to carry his body and put it i find that part really i see that part as for you to be able to do that there's a level of wickedness you have in you i get it that some people might want to avoid getting caught at all costs but that to me was too extreme i feel like that part was no longer self-defense the self-defense stopped when he point she pointed the gun and you know because she wanted to rescue her friend right and obviously if the guy if he had the way of killing both of them at that moment the kind of way he was furious he's going to get them out of the get rid of them and i mean because of the kind of way the family is they find a way to cover it up i don't know what that's what i think so that part of you know her picking up the gun was totally self-defense in my opinion but you see what the part of you were intentional shopping no and the blood the you know stains were gushing out for staining their face like they didn't even i know they were feeling a type of way but no 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 that's that part is not self-defense for me let me know what you think in the comment section let's know if you have lawyers in the house what do you guys really think in that kind of scenario i don't know if there's going to be a season two and i don't know how season two is going to be in my opinion i feel like there's no point having a season two if they wanted to end the movie they would have ended it all in that season to be very honest because how many minutes like the timei and what's the name of that sister I was even expecting that it's the mother that you would take down first because trust me if there is a season two the return of that woman would be very brutal she's already a brutal wicked soul i mean there's a part of she was one that you know got rid of her husband because of worth and then she has another man that she, that they and me actually belong to so maybe that's why she doesn't like the other two children i don't know but the point is you had the gun you had the opportunity the like in that scenario, I mean, she, she's Kukuma taking up getting rid of everybody, anyways. She got rid of her brother and the wife. The person that is the main, the main. If that woman, she's not gotten rid of, she would do a lot more harm. She has the police in her custody, the inspector general. She can do a lot of things. She has the world fame, power. I don't know why she didn't, you know, kill all. Do they just want us to assume that she actually killed the mother as well? If there's going to be a season two, I hope it's not going to be a mess. I hope it's going to be okay. I heard again, I don't know for a fact, I don't know if it's true that maybe that the movie was um, a replica of some other Hollywood movies. I can't remember the name of that one, like three different Hollywood You know people will say a lot of things. I don't know, I've not watched those, those movies, but I feel like it's brilliant. They did so well overall. To be honest you can watch the movie if you want to it's a good recommendation but that's just my observation and the question i have for you guys out there do you think that in all of it it's all self-defense they shouldn't get punished for literally you know is it butchering a whole human being or you know that part of um, shooting the gun is enough self-defense other than that every other thing you know they also got rid of the reporter or is it presenter I know maybe he deserved it, but I mean, so there, there's a lot of things that is no longer self-defense. The only self-defense was the part that she shot at um, Demi, and that's it for me. What do you think? Do you think that, let's even say this is a real case scenario in court, do you think that they can, even if they arguably, you know, want, want the self-defense issue, do you think that they should not go punished at all, that it's all self-defense? Personally, I know that if it's a case of you, the mother, maybe they are gone for it, maybe life imprisonment, they also keep them. That's what I think, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button, button, button. <laughs> for now, for now. <laughs> It's the subscribe button and um, please press the like button let's just please i just i know the movie's been a while i've watched it like maybe some days back as well but i just want to know what do you think what do you think about that